In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the public betting data filters in BetLabs. Public betting data, also known as betting trends, looks at the percentage of bets on each game, as well as the number of bets. Before we jump into any of the filters, I'll switch tabs and look at our live odds page from Sports Insights. Here you see an example of how we track the betting percentages. For each team, we have a spread percentage, a money line percentage, an over-under percentage, and a parlay percentage. Once the game has started, we've archived these betting percentages and put these into BetLabs. And that's where you can use these filters here. For example, let's go to Spread Percentage. This is the percentage of spread bets on the team. If you wanted to look at a team getting 30% or lower than the bets, you would simply make the range 0 to 30. If you wanted to look at a team getting more than half the bets, you would simply do 51 to 100, and so on. Again, we provide a graph that shows you each data point and how well that has performed over time. This filter also provides a list view option if you want to select certain data points for your analysis. Money line percentage works the same way. If you open that filter, again you're given a range and you select the percentage you want for the money line bets. Money line percentage works for all sports, not just baseball and hockey. Again, these are tracking real bets placed at real sports books. These are not consensus lines or data that is voted on. You can also look at the over under percentage and how that has affected the game. In this instance, we look at the under percentage, so how many of the bets were placed on the under. So if you went 0 and 40, then you're looking at all the spread results when 40% of the bets were on the under. I'll close that filter. Lastly, we have the number of bets filters. These are a good way to isolate the biggest games of the day in the public eyes. Let's look at number of bets compared to daily average. The value for this filter is shown as a ratio, with 1 equaling the average amount of bets for that day. So if you do between 1 and any higher, then you are looking at at least an average amount of bets. If you did two or more, then you're looking at at least two times the amount of bets that the average game has for that day. Sports Insights has been tracking public betting data since 2003, and it's something that you're unlikely to find in another database software. Using these filters, you can quickly see where betting against the public is profitable and where it hasn't worked as well. That concludes this tutorial video. In the next tutorial, We'll look at the time period filters and how they can narrow your search.